action. Hi McGee family. I know that my birthday was in February and you sent me all of these lovely things, but I was waiting until my kitchen was clean enough to actually do this and that didn't happen until just like four days ago. So it is July the 6th and I am now getting around to trying all of the wonderful things you sent me for my birthday. Take a look. I have put everything out on plates except for two, but I'll explain that in a minute. Just get a good look. Thank you so much for this, by the way. I'm so excited. I've never got to do a taste test video before, but I thought I would share it with you since you guys gave it to me. So, okay, and I also have my trusty palette cleanser just in case because I'm not exactly sure what some of this tastes like. So forgive me for any, um, you know. All right. Okay, this first one, and thankfully it is translated on the back. This says a wheat cake. It has something called millet jelly in it, so this should be interesting. It's like a little cake. It's a little squishy. Okay. Doesn't smell like anything. Wow, oh, it's sweet. I mean, it's not disgusting. Oh, it's really sweet. And probably why it's so tiny. It's a little grainy. It's kind of like someone baked icing inside of a bun or something. It's, um, it's not bad. It's just really, really sweet, but it really doesn't taste like anything, which is probably why it's called a wheat cake, because it's sort of like bread and goo. Thumbs up. Okay, this next one, I wish I could read Korean or Japanese. This says it is Latte Kume Chan. Looks like plum candy. It also has millet jelly in it, so apparently that's really, really popular. It's a little sticky, round candy. Doesn't smell like anything. Holy cow! <laughs> I can't explain what this tastes like. It's salty and angry. <laughs> Okay, I said, no, no. You probably should have had that before that one when it tasted salty against it. Yeah, I'm gonna try sweet. that later when I haven't had. Okay. Mm. <laughs> okay. This says everyone says good good eat. Japanese ramen noodle wheat crackers. Okay, I don't see how you can go wrong with ramen noodles. Actually, so it just looks like ramen noodles. Ooh, I like these. They taste like those things you put on salad. Um, not crouton. Um, chow mein noodles. They're good and salty. They feel a little bit like worms, but that's okay. That's good stuff. I'm still having trouble with the pink candy though. Wow. All right. There's this. I have to get the big bag to tell me what it is. This says it's Japanese rice crackers. They look like weird popcorns. Those are good. They're kind of like salty. What's this stuff with the fries in the bag? Cracker Jacks? Yes, but without peanuts. They remind me of the wasabi crackers, but without wasabi on them. Yes, yes, they're very good. Those are very good. Those don't make me want to bark at all. Whew. Okay, now we have these. 
I wish they didn't put faces on all their food. It kind of makes me feel awkward eating it. This doesn't have a translation on it. Just a lot of Korean. <clears throat> okay, it seems to be a translucent, pressed, something. It's like a cookie, but it's not a cookie. Uh, it's a little sticky. It smells like nothing, really. I think it's chestnuts. Chewy, crunchy. It's chewy. And, and... Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <clears throat> I can't explain that, but it's unpleasant in a lot of different ways. Okay. Ugh. All right. Now these I think I've had before, but I like them. Your little mushrooms. Chocolate cap. Cookie stem. And they're very, very good. Makes me want to make like a gingerbread house. Woodland themed. You're not like right up in my nose, are you? Mm -hmm. Oh. I can be. No. I like them a lot. Choco boy. Okay. And these are Hello Panda, Hello Kitty's illegitimate cousin. Greetings, feline. <laughs> these seem to be... cookie balls with something printed on them. Okay. Mmm! There's chocolate on the inside. I'm sharing with Steve too. Just so you don't think I'm being so good. Those are good. Hello Pandas. These are... Oops, I was showing them the wrong one. But yeah. Okay. Panda faces. Saku Saku Panda. Biscuit snack. I'm always in for a good biscuit snack. These are a little disconcerting because they look like panda faces. Well, at least they do on the front. On the back, they're pig noses. So let's see. Pretty good. Tastes a little bit different from the Choco Boys, but not too different. Very good. Okay. These have a Halloween pepper on them, and they smell pretty good. Jacko pepper. <laughs> Tohato habanero chips. It's going Kim, to be hot. Kimuchi. Potato cracker, which is a fancy way of saying tater chip, I suppose. Habanero. It smells very vinegary, a little tomato-y. We've got in love um, jack-o'-lantern peppers. One that is snorkeling or tubing. And that one's sweating or sleeping. I don't know. That's weird. And strawberry. <laughs> All right. These don't really feel like chips. They are kind of tougher. I'm scared because I'm afraid it's going to be hot. Okay. That is not bad. It's odd. It's kind of like a thick Pringles. It tastes more garlicky than peppery, though. It's got sort of a styrofoamy aftertaste, but not terrible. Not something I wouldn't eat. 
Okay, now the last two, I saved these for last because I was scared to open them. Um, this doesn't have a translation either, but it's got a squid on the front. So um, I was scared to open it because I didn't know what it would smell like. Oh, wait, no, it does. Nope. But this has squid extract in it. It does have some English on the back. Squid extract. Um, I'm scared. Okay, one moment. Apparently they don't like you getting into your chips in Japan. I'm really scared of what this is going to smell like. I was right. It has a hint of cat food. <clears throat> um. It's not chips like I thought, though. I, it's, no, it doesn't smell like cat food. It smells like fish food, fish flakes. And Ooh. they look a little bit like pork rinds. I think they may supposed to be in the shape of a squid. Oh. Mm. Yeah, that, that odor is coming this way. I don't know if I can do it. Mmm. <clears throat> Oh, I can't even breathe. Hold on. Um, <laughs> All right. It's not that bad. You're not sitting in front of the bag. <clears throat> All right. Your, your water is over here. If you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god mm. no <coughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. what's wrong with those people <clears throat> there's something wrong with them if they eat those ah. alright and this makes me even scareder for these these seem to be octopus flavored. Octopus flavored. Um, well. Whew. Palette cleanser? I, I don't. Okay, these don't smell as bad. But they're in the same family. They're just shaped different. These would be extra if you if they I don't know what they they would be good for dips because of their curvature. Squid dip. Squid salsa. These are not as bad as the squid ones because they don't make me want to die. But they have a very kind of fishy aftertaste. It, no, no. But they're so cute, but no, I, I can't. Okay. Oh. Nope. <clears throat> Let me just say. These are less cat foody than these, but it's the subtlety of the cat food flavor in these that'll hit you in the back of the throat when you're not paying attention. And so I do not recommend these unless you're angry at somebody. <clears throat> Were you mad at me? Okay. Well, thank you for going on my taste bud journey through Asia with my wonderful, wonderful birthday gifts. I really, really love them. And I actually will eat most of these except for I don't think I will eat these chips.
because the devil made them. I'm gonna try these later when I haven't had any anything sweet right before because I think I think that it suffered from eating this first and pretty much everything but that weird cookie on the other end was actually pretty good. Um, so there you go. I just wanted you to experience that with me and I appreciate it and thank you so much again for my birthday gifts. And cut. I think uh, we need another take of you trying the squids. I don't know that I was recording during that. What? <laughs> that almost made me barf. I mean, it really almost made me barf. Okay, after further review, Steve has tried these, and he really liked them. So he's going to eat these for me. Hope you don't mind. I think part of it is the fact that I have a very strong sense of smell, so the smell kind of hit me, but I also am not a huge fan of seafood, which also is probably part of the problem. But I think that they are an awesome concept, and I really like the packaging, and I'm, I'm glad Steve likes them, so we'll see. Thank you.